And I think Prime Minister Modi has seen that for several years. You know, he is very much directly involved with the Indian Space and Research Organization, with Israel. He's not just watching them do what they're do doing. He's he's very closely uh, monitoring, but also involved in their conversations. It's a really smart move, I think, on India's leadership's part right now. The United States is still the world leader in space exploration. Do you think that the space race, or like you said, the space game uh, could be, um, you know, this could be just the beginning or uh, a big change that could be coming? And do you agree that India's mission marks a soft power win for a Prime Minister Narendra Modi? You know, when I was born, Rena, no one had flown in space. All of this, the space commerce, you know, GPS satellites, weather satellites, telecommunications, uh, exploring the moon, exploring the sun, all of that has happened in less than one lifetime. So it's not so much a space race as it is a new space opportunity for everybody. And now the race is really uh, who can push the technology in an economic way to turn it into profitable space businesses for each of the companies and each of the countries involved. And India is in a really strong leveraged position to do that. And I think Prime Minister Modi has seen that for several years. You know, he is very much directly involved with the Indian Space and Research Organization, with Israel. You know, he he he's not just watching them do what they're do doing. He's He's very closely uh, monitoring, but also involved in their conversations because it is national policy. It It is pushing the wedge of technology forward so that all of those other businesses can be in behind that wedge, uh, taking advantage of, of all of the commerce that comes from satellites around the earth, but also the earth moon economic system that is just starting to get going down on history and then everything that lies beyond that. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a really smart move I think on India's leadership's part right now to be pushing it, to be developing it, but also being in the process of privatizing it so that the the businesses and therefore the Indian people can benefit as much as possible.